weather forecast today. Today's forecast, a lot of sunshine, blue skies, marine clouds. Just the perfect day to go outside and relax. That's your forecast. We'll be right back. Yeah. Sunny day, sunny day, sunny day. Welcome back to Contracts and Cocktails. I'm Kelly Bowling. I am Carolyn Smith. We're with the Coastal Estate team at Compass. Yeah. And we are going to talk to you today a little bit about, like, would you rather? So, like, fun things that we thought. This was a fun idea Kelly had. Interesting. I like it. You know, that yeah. you get to know a little bit about us, too. And yeah. Our whys. And you can think about would you rather. Yeah. <laughs> And tell us, like, I would love comments, like, would you rather? What, which would you rather? Yeah. All right. Some so. of these, we, some of these, we might get some, some trolling comments on, like our <laughs> other. We have a video. How many views oh does that video gosh. have now? Seven hundred thousand, probably seven hundred thousand. People were very big mad. Yes. That big I mad. spent so much money on my bathroom. Yes. I'll tell you what, they weren't happy. And I'm not. I'm not saying how much I spent on my shower. Don't do it. They, <laughs> they will come after you. The haters are going to. They hate. think that I'm dumb. <laughs> And that I'm wasteful and all the poor starving children and I spent that money and on they, a place to poop. And they, <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does do the same thing it did before. This and is And that true. you're bougie. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is a little bougie, but I made it that way because I wanted it that yes. way and it's my forever home. So I'm and not we girls, to, I hate to say this, but we we're we, in the bathroom a lot. We like a pretty place to yeah. poop, okay? Yes. <laughs> Put on our makeup, do all our things. Yeah. yeah so so. Okay. Um, all right. So let's get on with it. Yeah. Would you rather live in an HOA community or a non-HOA community? Yeah. So my answer is a non-HOA community. And I honestly don't mind an HOA and I think it's super important. I talked about this recently on TikTok, but I think it's super important if you to know this, to know this about yourself. Do I like all the rules and regulations? Do I like the structure? Do I want someone telling me you can't park in the street? You can't um, have your garage door open overnight? Um, and your neighbors also have to abide by the same rules. Do you like that? Do you care if your neighbor doesn't keep your house up quite the same way that you would? Because I think that if you care about that, I always say like where we live, it's the charm of the beach side because yeah. your neighbor's your neighbor's house might not look so great. Um, but the problem is, is that, you know, if you live in an HOA, did you read the rules and regulations mm -hmm. Yeah, Be that's before important. you committed. Yes. And and that doesn't mean before you went to contract. It means during your inspection your period. All of that. Yes. Yeah. Did you read the rules and regulations? Do you understand what rules you're going to have to abide by? So, yes, what about you, Kelly? What I you also am a, a fan of the non uh, non HOA. I yeah. have lived in both. And you know, when I did live in an HOA, yeah. Here's a great example. We bought a water softener for the house and the water softener company installed it on the outside of the property, not inside. Yeah. And it was there for about 18 months. And then we get a letter one day from the HOA that said, you need to build a shrub hedge or put a fence around that unsightly water softener that on the horrible side. Horrible looking water so softener. So ugly. No, it really wasn't. And I was like, oh, okay. How often do you do these inspections? I asked. Oh, we do them every month. And I'm like, wow, well, whoever's been doing it for the last 17 needs to be fired because it's been there for 18 <laughs> months. And so my husband begr begrudgingly like dug up some shrubs from the front yard just to, you know, right. flip them the bird a little bit right, right. <laughs> and stuck them on the side of the house. And, you know, we carried on with our lives. That was the only thing that we ever had happen there. And now we live somewhere where there is no HOA. And, you know, I don't have an issue with any of our neighbors or the way they keep up their house. We're, we keep to ourselves. I don't yeah. want to have to abide by all the rules because some of them are super, super strict. Like you can't have your trash can out until a certain time of the day the night before. Absolutely. And you have to bring it back in by a certain time. Right. And what, what if you're not home? you on vacation? Yeah. You know, do you yeah. have to find somebody to go do that for you? Or my favorite is that, you know, which community I'm talking about. But I had a client bought in this one community, it's full of townhomes, and he had just moved in and he was having his cable installed. Mm. So the cable guy parked on the street. Oh, it's daytime. Yes. The cable guy got towed. The cable guy got towed. He wasn't, you know, those I can't contractors. Even speak. My mouth is on the. Yeah. I mean, and he called me to tell floor. me my buyer. He thought it was ridiculous, but yes. also funny, but yeah. not funny for the cable guy, you know. But yeah, that was. It's, that was extra. Yeah, there's. I saw a video just the other day of some guy who came home and he had like I think had like a stand up paddleboard. And he had taken it off his vehicle and his vehicle so was parked in the driveway. And the stand-up paddleboard was laying on the um, 
on the driveway between the garage and the vehicle. And he was he was cleaning it off before he put it back away. And then he was going to let it dry and then put it back in his garage. And somebody had come by and taken a picture. And he said the whole time, you could see him if you looked. Mm-hmm. You could see that he was literally standing there. They waited. He said they waited till I was kind of more behind the vehicle and the angle they took the picture in. Mm-hmm. You could only see like his feet and stuff like that if you really looked. And they find him for having the paddleboard in his driveway. Gosh. And he said it literally was only there just to clean it and let it dry and put it away. So yeah. it's not that we hate HOAs because we, we no, do no, no. understand. Some, they're good for keeping your values up. You yes. know, everybody's got to kind of maintain a standard. And, and if you like rules. that and if you don't mind following the rules and you don't mind, you know, the, the rules that they have, mm-hmm. then it's great. It yeah. really is. And because- some are more strict than others. So it's always good to find out how strict are they. Like maybe ask mm-hmm. the seller, like, mm-hmm. I know it says this in here, but can I get away with mm-hmm. X, right? And they should be honest. And they do keep you. your, you know, neighbor from painting their house neon green and purple. I mean, seriously. How many listings have we seen pop on where there's like a bright pink house or a bright purple house? And we're just like, oof, you know, and to then, each their own. Right. And I mean, you don't, you don't necessarily want to be that person's neighbor. No. But so. I do love the fact that like, especially beachside here, have you seen the people that do the murals on the front yes. of your house? I love those. Yeah. I, I think that's so such a neat piece of art to have on your house and yes. live at the beach. So I think yeah. it's kind of cool. And remember, most municipalities do have some sort of regulations. Yes. Um, and, and depending on the muni- municipality, um, those can be strict as well. So, yeah, I mean, true. not as strict as an HOA typically, but, you know, you you may have rules anyway, like you can't park your camper in the front yard right, or, or your, your boat, boat in your driveway. We or, had that happen when we were renting in Indy Atlantic. We had yeah. a boat that was in the driveway because they were working on it. Mm-hmm. And then it had gotten moved. And then like a week later, we got the nasty gram. Well, our landlord called us and she was like, you can't have that boat in the driveway. And we were like, well, it's in the backyard. Yeah. She's like, was it out front? I said, yeah, for two days when they were working on it, but then they moved it back. And I didn't even know that was a rule, but yeah. Um, yeah. So they have to be have behind, some behind the fence line kind of thing yeah. and stuff like that. Or so there, there usually are rules anyway, but it yeah. just, it depends. You can't, you can't build a tiny house in your backyard and this is true. <laughs> rent it out to strangers. Right. All right. For <laughs> next. our next one, would you rather live in an oceanfront condo or in a home with a private backyard? That's for you to answer. Um, for me, I like the house with the backyard. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I have dogs. I don't want to be trucking them down the elevator and the stairs every time they have to go outside. Because let me tell you, they stand at that door to go out mm-hmm. all the time. It's mm-hmm. like, I just let you out. Or you'll let them out. Yeah. And then they're turning around wanting to come right back in. Yeah. So yeah. Um, it's like a revolving door at my house. I can't even imagine. And, you know, I'm sure if I lived in a condo, I probably wouldn't. I probably wouldn't have the dogs because they do have some strict rules. Yes. Um, you know, I'd have like a little pocket dog and, yeah. you know, you'd figure that out. But I like having a private backyard and my kids too. They're yeah. noisy and yeah. they like to play like in the pool. The neighbors I can imagine like them that. at a condo complex. They'd be out there horsing around screaming like somebody's like murdering them. <laughs> I sold I sold a, um, a condo to a single mom and she was posting about how her daughter was doing TikTok videos. <laughs> And they had downstairs neighbors who would started banging on the ceiling. Oh, yeah, yeah, because she was doing yeah. the dancing, the dancing oh, videos. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, disturbing. you know, TikTok on girl, like <laughs> your group disturbing on. the down one. Yeah, yeah, I, you know, I struggle with that. I, I'm not a condo person just because I, I tend to like. I'm with people all the time. Mm-hmm. So then when I, I want my privacy, I don't necessarily want to ride the elevator with you. Not that I don't like you or whatever, but I might not, I might be done talking. Yeah. For you're the done day. peopling for the day. I'm done. Yeah. It's that. a little peopley in there. Yeah. And so, um, there, there's some of that, but then I think, well, you know, at some point could I see myself maybe, I don't, I wouldn't do oceanfront, but maybe like riverfront. Mm. Could I do like a riverfront, not necessarily a condo, maybe a townhouse oh, where I still had idea. some yard and I could walk out and I would have a garage, like yes. a private garage. And so I wouldn't be sharing an elevator with you. Maybe. That's not maybe. a bad idea. Yeah, that's Not a good, today. That's a good in between. Not today. One day maybe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One down when I get a little older. So yeah. So I'm going to, the next one, would you rather vacation where it's cold, skiing or warm, tropical? I want to do warm. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> that's not, why you chose to live in Florida still. Yeah. I I can't. I'm the cold kills me. I mean, I don't mind going where it's cold for a very short period of time, mm-hmm. especially if there's a lodge and they're serving like peppermint schnapps. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that works for me. And I can look out and I'm like, oh, isn't it beautiful? But I don't want to stand in it. 
I gotcha. Yeah. I think traditionally our vacations are always somewhere warm and tropical. Yeah. Um, but one year we did do a trip to Whistler and my husband and I, and then our son who is now 12, but I think he was like maybe two at the time. Yeah. He was just a little guy. He couldn't ski or anything. And um, I actually loved it. It snowed every day that we were there. We went in like February or March. I'm trying to remember, but it was still snowing every day there. Yeah. And it was very cozy. There was like, you know, a warm fire. And our room was literally directly over the Starbucks. So you just smelled like oh, hot coffee all the time. That's not bad. No. And you would just have to add your peppermint And it's like we were eating all the comfort <laughs> food. We were eating like yeah. wings and pizza. And you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like just living it up, pancakes for breakfast. Like, you know, yeah. all the comfort foods that you eat when you're cold. And yeah. all bundled up. And it was freezing outside. But we had a good time. We did like zip lining through. It was freezing. But you have so much gear on. We did a lot of fun stuff. I think that's the most adventurous vacation I've been on. And I would love to do that again one day. But that flight is so long. Oh, and then yeah. once you get there, it's like a two and a half hour drive in a car to get up to the resort. Um, There's cold places that are closer. There are. That Colorado. was just, that was epic. That was like a kind of like a bucket list trip that my yeah. husband really wanted to do. And I even took like snowboarding classes. I don't do sports. So but I did okay. She rollerbladed in the office. So there's that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I not not for me. I I have a I have a electric blanket on my couch all times of the year. We I also use it. have those heaters in our office. We so have heaters in our better. office. Yeah. yeah, I'm cold all the time, so that yeah. doesn't work for me. All right. So the next is: Would you rather go out to eat at a fancy fine dining restaurant or have a meal at a casual hole in the wall? What's your yeah. preference? I think for me, it's definitely the casual place. Yeah. Um, my husband does not like to get dressed up. So it's like shorts, flip-flops, T-shirt all the time, no matter what. If we're going to go somewhere that's a little nicer, but not super like fine dining fancy, he will throw on a pair of jeans and like oh. his dress flops, mm-hmm. right? Fancy. His dressy flip-flops. His dressy flip-flops. Yeah. But, you know, I just it's like uptight and like the menu items to me are a little weird. I'm not very adventurous with my food. That's for sure. Never have been. I'm like a... A creature of habit. I get the same things all the time. Yeah. So for me, definitely the casual hole in the wall. Yeah. You know, it's funny because I thought I was going to say hole in the wall. And I do love, like, on a regular basis, I don't want to be going out to fine dining all the time. I want to pop in. I don't want to be, like, dressy. I want it to be comfortable and cozy. But for special occasions, I do love the fine dining experience. I love the fancy food. I love all the weird foods, mm-hmm. trying all the things. I always order too much because I can't decide, like, do I want to try that neat thing or do I? So mm-hmm. I order way too much. But I do like, and I like being waited on with like that, that it's amazing. A different level of service. Yeah, yeah. It really is. Yeah. yeah. I love that. So I don't know. That's a good Probably one. a fine dining girl. All right. So next is, would you rather drink wine or drink liquor? I left beer off because I don't know. Yeah. Like beer. I, neither one of us are no. beer. That's kind of, I, there are girls who drink beer, but I think most girls, it's like, yeah, makes you bloated. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the reason. So yeah, for me, um, it's vodka. So neither, yeah. but <laughs> well, I mean, it's liquor. it's liquor, but not all liquor. That's the yes. only one. If I'm going to have anything, it's going to be tequila. That. You like tequila? Mm, mm. It doesn't like me back, so I try oh, to really? steer clear of it. Yeah, I know there there was there was a time that I could do a margarita, and that was my drink of choice, but um. I must have ruined it for myself. And wine. That was definitely ruined for oh, myself. Yeah, you don't that like one time, wine. yeah, I drank like too much, and I had the worst hangover for like days. It was the worst one I've ever had, yeah. many, many, many moons ago. But yeah, that taught me a good lesson. I like them both. I'm an equal opportunity drinker. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on my mood. I, yeah. you know, if it's if it's a wine night, I'm drinking wine, and not that I'm an alcoholic or anything, but I like I like it all, and I do. I love vodka and I love tequila. Mm-hmm. Those are my, I can't, I can't drink gin because that was my original, you know, sneaking in the parents' liquor cabinet, <laughs> steal, stealing stuff that we did that with gin. And ever since then, I've never been able to I think stand for me, that's gin. why rum is not on my list because yeah. my parents had this, gosh, that bottle of Bacardi had to be decades <laughs> old. And I can remember like being in high school and I would go like skim a little off the top and yes. like pour some water up in there. And Kids, don't listen to this. Don't ever do <laughs> we this. We already know all of this. <laughs> we already know We're all of this. We're gardening the liquor in our house. Yeah. <laughs> so don't, don't yeah. do those things. Yeah. All right. So the last one is, would you rather stay up late? Are you a night owl? Or do you like to wake up early? I'm staying up late, people. 
Anyone who knows me knows I'm staying up late. Yeah. If I if I can go to bed by midnight, I'm doing good. I would, and if I could, I would stay up till like two a.m. If really? I didn't have to get up, and I used to, you know, in the last five years, probably I need a little more sleep. Mm-hmm. But I used to stay up till two and get up at six. It oh was my four gosh. hours a night, and I was I was so good. like you know I can't even imagine. It's been a long time since I've been able to be functional at that hour of the day, mm-hmm. and like having been awake that many hours. Um, I think lately it's been waking up early. Yeah, I go to bed early. I wake up early, and I have all this time that I'm totally wasting. Um, I need to do better things with my time. You're allowed to waste time. Yeah. You're supposed to waste time every I like day. lay there and then I scroll like social media, TikTok, yeah. read emails, whatever. Yeah. I should be reading books because I don't do that in the middle of the night anymore. <laughs> I need to do that in the morning when I wake up. I do. I'll yeah. report back later. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I I love staying up late. I think I'm always going to I used to be a night owl. Used to be. And I, as a kid, yes, please sign me up for staying up late. My parents wanted us in bed by 7.30 p.m. Yeah. And I was like, this is the worst thing ever. Oh, my gosh, 7.30. So early. They had to get up so early, um, you know. We yeah. were out the door by, like, 5.15 every morning because they, they worked in D.C. And it was a oh, commute, and they had to drop yeah. us off. So, yeah, they were early risers. Oh. That's where we. Yes. And I did not love it. <laughs> See, now, that, now maybe you're reverting back to that. It could what's be. happening. Yeah. yeah. Maybe so. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, I'm a night owl and I'm proud of it. So <laughs> anyway, um, so anyway, if you have something that you would like us to talk about on our vodcast, we would love to hear. Um, and we'd like to hear what you enjoy. Like, are you enjoying the real estate? St- st- why can't I talk today? Because it's, it's black asleep. <laughs> it might be. You stayed up a little too late. <laughs> real estate statistics, or do you enjoy like the personal stuff? Um, we are hoping to start this week to go do some lives um, yes. that we are going to do like about town kind of thing. Just some um, very casual. We'll do some lives if Carolyn doesn't get us kicked off. <laughs> I said a word I didn't know. It wasn't a cuss word or anything. No. I didn't realize that it has, since I was young, it has now been moved into the, this is an inappropriate thing. So many things. I was changed. talking about myself. Yes. I wasn't, were. I wasn't like calling somebody a name. I was calling myself a name. And that name is no longer allowed. And Apparently, yes. yeah. So, but that's okay. We're all learning and growing here. So, <laughs> so much to learn and so much to grow with, right? <laughs> yes, and Carolyn has to learn. Like, uh, I have to look things up. And we had to rewatch it to figure out what I said. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely, because we were like, what happened? We are unbanned now, though, I yes, think. Yes, we are. Yeah. Maybe we'll have to do one later. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, if you would like to reach us, 321-422-2160 or hello at coastalestateteam.com. You also can message us through any of the social media platforms, comment on our YouTube. Um, sometimes we have like fun discussions oh, yeah. through the comments. Yes. Um, but anyway, we do read them and we would love to hear from you. So we will um, talk to you next time and look forward to seeing you then. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Today's forecast, a lot of sunshine, blue skies, marine clouds. Just the perfect day to go outside and relax. That's your forecast. We'll be right back. Yeah.